Taliban number one. The love is a beautiful thing. Flip you know. size, we got It's gonna blow your mind. Crazy, crazy. The things looks can do. Huh. On record, this is the best film I've done ever. Yeah, that movie is awesome. There was no limitations to what we wanted to achieve. Scene 49, camera A and they'll take one. And action. Well, um, Just Not Married is not like any movie you would see. Uh, for one, apart from the fact that the story is quite gripping, um, there are a lot of subtle comments that are made in the movie. A lot of um, commentaries on the state of our society, a lot of commentaries on morality and moral values, a lot of commentaries on who we are as human beings and who we are as Nigerians, a lot of commentaries on personality and motivation and drive you know I, I, I say it's common thought that Nigerians are the most resilient set of people you'll find in Africa and I dare say in the world and this movie would sort of hi would, would highlight all of that the level of resilience the level of commitment the level of drive in the movie is outstanding the characters say a lot of things and when you eventually get to see the movie you'll realize that you know you you know these characters because there is one like them in your neighborhood there's one like this character in your family there's one of these characters that you know it's been the same dumb for the past 21 years we were born here we are growing up here and we'll die here if we do not do something my name is Rotimi Salami and I played the role of Lati in Just Not Married. Uh, my name is Lani Aishida, scriptwriter, content developer. My name is Roland Obutu and um, in the movie Just Not Married, I played the role Victor. Hi, my name is Stan Nze. I play the character of Duke Nyama in this film Just Not Married. My name is Brutus Richard uh, and I play the character YJ. My name is Gregory Ojefa and I am Echo in Just Not Married. My name is Judith Audo. I am the producer of this movie, Just Not Married, and I also played a role in it called KG. My last boyfriend then. He couldn't even last up to three minutes. And he did the push girls up and down. Papi said I didn't pay my bills. <laughs> and he don't feel the last past one minute, that one. Hey, KG! Not true. KJ is a very crazy girl. She's actually, I always say she's your normal um, girl. She's not your normal girl next door. Um, she's a hustler. She's a girl that knows what she wants and she usually goes for it um, no matter what. She's a very, I would say she's hardworking because whenever she wants something, she seems to, you know, go out of her way to make sure she gets what she wants. She knows what she wants and she goes after it and gets it. Prostitutes don't have a day job. Me, I do. So. You do the math yourself now. This guy not be smear smear guy at all. I swear. Hey guys, let's go make some money. Okay, um, the character Duke is um, a quite is a, is an intelligent young man, undergraduate who is quite reserved. You know, he's easy going with life and all. But you know, he's he's that kind of person that wants to make it in life. He lived in a hood with his friends and stuff, but he's always of the opinion that he's going to leave this hood someday. But he's not sure he can wait to finish from school to do that. So we see him go through struggles in life to want to become, you know, make something good out of his life. But there's this major challenge in his life right now in which needs a fixing. His mom has been ill for a while and he's, he's lost his, his dad like a couple of years back and he cannot you know afford to lose his mom now so we see him you know go through different challenges in this film to make sure his mom comes out from this predicament so yeah that's um duke nyama i don't understand that woman has worked so hard to make sure we all went to school and now she's sick there's no money for her treatment here you get my now some of us no gets 
you, you the ghost. How many of us for this school fit ghost? How many of us fit red? Nothing changes here. Well, as regards the character I played in Justin Mar, which is Latsi. Latsi is actually, um, should I say, is an illiterate. You know, who grew up in the slum. Now, um, he actually fended for himself for a very long period of time. He believes in pay as you go. Pay as you go, like, whatsoever, however you can make your money, make it. However you can survive, survive. But you know what it's like around the world. If you get alternative means of making fast money than you've been making before, and more money than you've been making before, trust me, you would always go for it. When I got the script, when I read it, I read it over and over and over and over again. And I, I, I saw a picture of, of KG. I saw a picture of who KG, the kind of KG I want to become or the kind of KG I would want to, you know, um, develop. And then I started watching out for a lot of girls. I wouldn't say Raz girls, but because of she's a ghetto girl. So she's a real ghetto girl. She's a typical ghetto girl. And I've had the experience of actually staying in a ghetto before. So I kind of try to remember some characters and I put all that together. It's like bringing, I took a lot of different people together and then took all the characterization and made it become one. And I remembered, um, I wanted her to have a nose ring, um, have a very different color on her hair. And then I spoke to the director, I took a picture of it, I wore the ring and then showed, sent him the picture of the hair and asked him what does he think and he loved it. So with that we were able to build a KG that when she came out everybody knew this was KG. For this very particular movie, Lati played a very significant role for the um, major character which is Duke himself. Now, Duke came up with a plan which Lati was meant to help, you know, contributing in executing. Because without Lati, it wouldn't have been possible for them to be able to execute these plans because Lati had to go extra miles, you know, breaking, you know, um, breaking the rules of using a car key to open the cars and getting other techniques to open the car based on the kind of work he had learned before, which is a mechanic. <laughs> I, I, get, I get some for that. Really? Pay out. About to do good to me, Jay. Ah. Any more money? Pay out. 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 It was fun. Um, I'd worked with Stanley before, Staninze. I've worked with Rotimi Salami before. Um, but it was my first time working with Roland Obutu. And I would say I was highly impressed with everybody because I, I was tapping energy from all of them. You know, they all blew me away. And it was really good. Every actor always says there is no much um, joy like working with an actor that's you know knows what it feels like it means to really bring out a character because they keep they bring you up so it's not like you struggling and then somebody is dragging you down it was really nice uh, it was awesome amazing actually working with Stan Inze and Rotimi Salami with Obutu Roland YJ 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 was just uh, a guy who grew in the slums who was born and bred in the slums and of course wanted a good life and he aspired he was ambitious you know but uh, I think coming from um, a not well-to-do family he, he wanted to break he wanted to break out from from the poverty that was surrounding him so he decided to delve into some nocturnal activities and um, of course the Lord caught up with him and he found himself in jail of course after saving um, a couple of years he was released, um, hoping to turn a new life. And uh, of course, you know what they say about a leopard who hardly changes the spot? He went back into something illegit. Good. My experience working with other 
cast members is quite cordial and um, coming in uh, coming to meet with people you've you, yes you know that this person they do the same thing that you do but uh, you've not had um, that privilege so to speak to be in the same project with them and when that opportunity came I just make sure that I made the best use of it you know meeting new persons getting to see um, how their own perspective to life is like and their uniqueness as well that is far different from what you probably have been seeing and what you you know and getting to appreciate their own um, side as to how they see life you know i think that for me i i enjoy that um i've done a couple of projects i've done a couple of films but this is one film and i'm not going to say this is the only film that has felt like family but this is one film that felt like i was working with my siblings i was working with you know family members um roland obutu by the way we look we look quite alike so it was like yeah this is really my elder brother i'm the first in my family i don't have a i don't have an elder brother but it felt for once i i had one. Oh man um working with the other cast uh, i must say thumbs up to uh, Judith Audu for bringing in uh, the right people. As far as I'm concerned, she couldn't have got it any better. Everybody uh, really suited uh, the role they came into play. Um, I had worked with a couple of them in the past. Um, some of them the first uh, was my first experience with them, and I was blown away by the amount of. Um, talent embedded in all these people and i really enjoyed it because when i work with talented people it also goes a long way in bringing out that reserve which i always feel nobody can get to it was fun lovely thumbs up to all my colleagues you did well uh. i think everything still boils back to working with your family you know because while working with your family you work with them unconsciously you say things unconsciously so at the point i forgot i was acting trust me all that matter was, okay, in my room, read my lines. When we get to the set, director tells us what and what he wants us to do for that particular scene. And we start playing. <laughs> you know, it was like playing to me. So, I get a very good, you know, uh, tick, which I collect from my other fellow cast. They actually made the job so easy for me. Ah, I'm looking for that one word. I'm just looking for that one word that can encompass this feeling. Just not marry. The project, the cast, the crew, the location, everybody that came. The vibration was too awesome. It was too positive. Then um, the guy that played Lati, Rosimi Salami, amazing, amazing. He helped, you know, because acting for me is action and reaction. Whatever any actor gives me is what I, I am able to bring back. If you give me an A, I can give a B. So every actor on this set, gave me what I needed to deliver a right. Judith I would do awesome. She brought KG to life that, you know, whenever I were on set together, it was like, okay, is this really a film? So really for me, it didn't feel like a film. It felt like just, just living life. It felt like it was something I could relate to. It was something, you know, it was, it was, it was family working together, basically. I do. So, no. I do yeah. matter. You do the math yourself now. This guy not be smith my guy at all. I swear. Hey guys, let's go make some money. You bring the cars in, we dismantle them and sell the parts. Good? Last boyfriend eh? It couldn't even last up to three minutes. And he did the Porsche girls up and down. <laughs> Papi said I ain't they pay my bills though. <laughs> and he not feel the last past one minute, that one. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. Hey, not true. For here will there anybody will not get work, they work for oil and gas. Serious? Yes, yes. What sector? Um, 
downstream. Don't tell me nonsense. A director's pleasure is when you have, uh, when the tools for your creativity are quite easy. The actors were very quite easy to work with. Uh, they were talented, they were a gifted set of people. So communicating my thoughts, my ideas, and what I needed them to do at, that, at every given time was quite easy and they understood. And if they didn't understand it, they asked questions and they were ready and willing to give it the best you know the crew members and the actors there was something that there was this blend between us that is very uncommon we were a family we were a family the friendship the bonds that were created that was created on that set is something that would last of a last a lifetime you know uh, on our very first meeting i told everybody there that if you look around, there are people you know from somewhere, there are people you're meeting for the very first time. So the bond was very, very, very strong. Um, I, I, I'd known the director, Odrek Patrick, for a while. I, I didn't, I'd not worked with him before. It, it was the first time I was working with him and for, for that first relationship, I think it, it was an awesome relationship. It was an awesome um, experience working with him. His direction pattern was awesome amazing he will not stop until he got that thing he wanted and if he had it it was good my director my sweet director this is one man i know i would love to work with over and over again he didn't stress me but he made me bring out what he wanted as joyce iyama i loved it i love challenging role and that was what my director made me to see so easily to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever asked yourself what it's like working with your mom or probably, you know, talking to your siblings? You know, I didn't see the set of uh, just not married like I was working, to be very frank. I saw that, you know, movie, like one movie you would do in your production house where you call everybody and ask, come, what do you have now? Let's just play, let's play around. So I was working with my director like I was working with my friend. So it was awesome. Well, um, my primary motivation was Judith herself. Judith was the primary motivation to make this movie. She was the one who said, you can do it, let's do this. You can do it, let's do this. That was all she needed to, to say. You can do this, let's do it. You can do this, let's do it. And I believed her and we did it. And we came out with something amazing. Hey, it was awesome. I've worked with Udwak before when um, we did Not Right and he, he was, I would say he was a totally different person. It was awesome as in he was out of this world working with him. He was an actor's director. It just, it, he makes you, he brings out the character in you without stressing you. So you're really relaxed and you're beginning to do things you don't even know you're doing. And he's just saying, this is how I want it to be. This is how I want it to be. Before you go into the scene, he tells you how exactly he wants the picture he's seeing in his head. And it makes it easy, actually, for, for to, to, to work with him. It was really nice working with him. It's someone I would want to work with over and over again. I have worked with directors and I have worked with directors. And I would say working with Patrick Ubong was wonderful. Um, he allows for input, which helps every actor. You know, there are... There are ways of um, directing that really do not allow the best out of an actor. But when an actor has a reasonable amount of um, input to help the character, it goes a long way in making an all-round result, positive result. So it was good, good fun and also a learning process working with the director. He knows his onions and I'm really looking forward to working with him again. I remember the scene which we had up to...
bring the cars in, we we'll dismantle them and sell the parts. Good? Um, I'll, I'll talk about before I even visited the location. When I came for the script reading, and I saw, this was pre-production, and I saw the amount of work that had been put in by the crew, the producer, Uduak and um, Judith and the rest of the people, I could tell that it was going to be a good production. I could tell that um, everybody was passionate about the project. You know, as in everybody had an interpretation for the story, everybody had an interpretation for their roles. Honestly, even deeper than what I was thinking about. So yes, I could already tell. Um, and then when I got on location, I was impressed. The first time I went on location, I wanted to just spend um, five minutes on location, but I ended, ended up spending about three hours because I was actually impressed by how the directors, the DOPs, they were, they were so into the project, you know, they were so concerned about getting the angles right, they were so concerned about what the interpretation would be for the viewer. So yes, I was actually excited. I was very excited to be The last thing was the technical part of this job on the last day of the job. Now we had real accidents, you know, during the course of the shoot. We had real accidents. I was driving and um, the very good thing about it, because my technical director did not say cut, I couldn't cut, so I, we needed to continue acting even after we bashed, you know, the police van. The police van bashed us behind and it was actually a fatal one and my producer, actor, friend screamed, Jesus! That very last day had a very significant role because we saw the whole flying, jumping, you know, camera placement and, you know, those shots I see in American movies and I asked myself, how did they even achieve this shot? And I was like, oh, so now that simple thing, I saw just kind of, to put camera for now, wow, now this is another reason since, you know, it was a wonderful experience. <laughs> The chase sequence was just epic. You know, the part where the police van was chasing these guys and they came to an abrupt stop. When I say the stop was immediate. And the things that happened, the chain reaction after that stop. I don't want to reveal too much, but the, it, was, it, it was a chain of reactions. You know, being an actor myself, acting is reacting. The reactions to that particular stop, it just, it couldn't have it couldn't have happened a better way and i couldn't cut i was enjoying it so much i just let it flow let it flow it just kept on going and going and going and going and going i enjoyed myself and i was like i can't wait to really see this in in edits we bring the cars in we dismantle them and sell the parts good I am looking forward to seeing a just not married, you know, um, at the leap of everybody. I am expecting, I'm, I'm really expectant about this project. I'm hoping that this project will get, bring awards. I'm hoping that people will see this film and really fall in love with it. Because right from the script, like I said, I, I, I was blown away. I was awed. It was an amazing experience, an amazing experience. And I want to relieve this. I want to relive this over and over again and I'm hoping I can get to work on a couple of other projects this year that has that depth, that has that quality, that has that visuals, that have this same set of individuals who came as one to produce something. You guys, trust me, when you guys eventually get to see it, you know why I keep repeating my words, just not married. It's a movie to watch out for. The movie is a well-directed movie where played is not only going to go the movie is not going to only going to go places but it's going to take all the actors places my last boyfriend he couldn't even last up to three minutes and he did the pursue girls up and down probably saying i didn't pay my bills <laughs> And you know, if you last past one minute, that one. Hey, okay. hey, hey, hey. Not true. Judy Audio Productions is uh, it's a production, it's our production company. We actually launched in by doing our short film, Not Right, that went on to get six best short film nominations, including the AMVCAs. And this is our very first feature and um, we're able to take on a script that is very unique 
it is a company that has set itself out to to collaborate with other like minds of you know uh, that have the drive and the passion to bring awesome pictures to life that's why every single thing we actually try to do most times we always have you know people we collaborate with to bring it to life and Judy Daudu Productions is not your regular production company we are yes we are commercial would want to make money but we also have that quality behind our every single thing we do we set out to make very quality productions we set out to to make sure whatever we do stands out from the norm not just the regular um we're, you're going to be seeing a lot of awesome production coming out from judy daudu productions not just um but short films um, feature films documentaries what have you corporate corporate shoots we're going to be doing a lot of things um just know you'll be seeing our name very soon everywhere because we're taking over it's been the same dome for the past 21 years we were born here we are growing up here and will die here if we do not do something. I don't understand. That woman has worked so hard to make sure we all went to school. And now she's sick, there's no money for her treatment. You, you get my lane now. Some of us no get. You, you, the ghost. How many of us for this school? Fit ghost. How many of us fit red? Nothing changes here. You and I know see this town a man no man. Who is Sabi? You Sabi go. No. Prostitutes don't have a day job. Me, I do. Mm. So I don't yeah. matter. You do the math yourself now. This guy not be smith my guy at all. I swear. Hey guys, let's go make some money. You bring the cars in, we we'll dismantle them and sell the parts. Good. My last boyfriend, eh? He couldn't even last up to three minutes. And he did the pursue girls up and down. I'll be saying I ain't pay my bills. <laughs> and enough in the last past one minute. That one. Hey, 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 hey. Not true. For here will be anybody who don't get work, they work for oil and gas. Serious? Yes. What sector? Oh, uh, downstream. Something has to change. 